Hello everyone and welcome to the class. In this short tutorial video we're going to show you how to get the most out of your settings in uh, GarageBand when you're starting to first do your project. And today I'm joined by my very special co-host Mr. Benjamin Pegg uh, who is one of my favorite musicians and uh, has been a local not of recent times but a uh, very very talented musician. He's going to perform uh, in one of these future videos but Ben go ahead take it away. Show us how to get the most out of our preferences here in GarageBand. Okay this is definitely something that you need to do before you hit the record button if you're using real instruments. So I am going to go up to the GarageBand preferences and here uh, in the general preference pane we have automatically merge software instrument recordings when using cycle mode. This just has to do with how you're handling loops, which we are going to go into, I think, in a video yes, ahead. So that we will just leave checked by default, and we're going to move on here to our audio MIDI inputs. And in a future video, we will talk more about audio units and effects but they are checked, you definitely want to have these checked because this is going to allow you to use third-party plugins from other plugin makers to make your projects really sound professional. Next we have a loops option for um, filtering and searching through your loops. Then you have info which you can use to add your own name, your album name, for when you send and share your songs to iTunes, it will have your personal information in those tracks. Most importantly of all is in this advanced tab, there's an audio recording resolution. GarageBand records at 44 kilohertz, which is CD quality, but the resolution of a CD is 16-bit, and GarageBand is capable of recording in 24-bit. So it's just a better detailed sound, you definitely want to have this checked before you hit the record button so that you're getting the highest resolution available. That's really it. Okay, perfect. So uh, make sure you check out some of the other short tutorial videos again, folks. The reason why we're doing short videos for going over GarageBand instead of a longer one is it is a very, very complex piece of software and it has become increasingly more complex as Apple has released newer versions of it. So check out some of the other videos we have. That's all for today. Please leave us your feedback in the comments section below. We'll see you next time. This is David A. Cox along with Ben Pegg. We'll see you next time. Class dismissed.